Hello, and welcome to Inventor's Quick Tips. In this episode, we are talking about some common patent application mistakes that I encounter, and in particular, the mistake of humans in the claims. Claims define the invention in legal terms, and so it's usually preferable to have the claims worded in terms of structure rather than who interacts with the structure. And let's take a look at a contrived example just to help solidify this point. Here's an example invention. To get weather for your location on your phone by pressing a button. So here's my phone with my weather button on it. And when I press the button, my phone makes a query out to the internet, reaches a remote server, calls a function on that server, that server then reaches out to some database of weather information, and that data is returned and displayed on the phone. So again, this is not a real invention. We are just using this as an example to help illustrate the point about humans and the claims. So with a system like this, I've encountered claims like the following. A computer implemented method for providing weather information comprising receiving a key press from a user, sending a weather data request to a remote server in response to the key press, obtaining the weather data at the remote server from a weather database and sending the weather data to the user. So we have a human in the claim. Where is the human? The human is not happy as he does not want to be in the claim. Let's take a look and see where the human is hiding. We have a key press from a user and sending data to the user. And while it is true, ultimately, that the user initiates the activity by pressing the button and the information is ultimately delivered to the user. For the purposes of patent claims, it is often better to try to write the claims without the humans in the claims if possible. So when we think about it in more detail, the user presumably has his or her phone, which we can generalize as a mobile electronic computing device, and we can take this activity done by the user and instead rewrite the claim in terms of the electronic computing device, i.e. the phone, that belongs to the user. So here is a reworded claim to take the humans out of the equation. Our human is happy again now. He has his mobile electronic computing device. And the claim now reads, receiving a key press from a display i.e. a touch screen of a mobile electronic computing device. And, and similarly, rather than having the claim language as sending the data directly to the user, we are sending the data to an electronic computing device, which can be the phone that the user has with them. So in summary, try to keep the humans and human activity out of the claims where possible. Why? A few reasons. One is that human activity in many cases may not be considered patentable. So for that reason alone, it is a good idea to try and keep the humans out of the claims. Another reason is that the patent application needs to show how the invention works. And in our example, if the claims are claiming sending data directly to a user rather than involving the actual hardware, then there's a good chance that the claims are oversimplified, skipping steps, or otherwise too vague. So hopefully you found this information helpful. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you again for watching.